What's going on everyone? Welcome back to EMC. The time has come. It's time to get electric. Times are changing, we gotta go with the flow. Petrol heads out there, I know, I know. It's blasphemous. But you know what? This is a pretty dope project. I gotta say, our first EMC project ever was my 993 Turbo S wide body look. And that aquamarine blue paint really set it off for us. So this idea has been brewing for a very, very long time. I've been wanting to go electric, I wanna say for over a year and a half now, but I really just couldn't do it. I needed to find the right project, the right way for me to feel like it's so EMC. And I think I finally did it. What you guys see right here on this special vlog is the very first two EMC fully electric motorbikes cafe racer style done fully by EMC. The story is, you know, I've been wanting to get a motorcycle for, you know, a couple years now, but obviously for certain reasons that I can't disclose, uh, it just never happened. But Super Soko motorcycles, man, I mean, it's, it's interesting because when you look at Super Sokos, you know, sometimes you're like, wait, what is it? Is it a cafe racer? Is it a sport bike? I don't think it's either, but you know what? It's a pretty cool bike. And for the price, options, and everything out there in Taiwan, it's as close as it gets to a really cool looking electric bike. But when I got my hands on it, it just didn't do it for me. I mean, it's not bad. It just didn't do it for me because it wasn't EMC enough. So I contacted Super Soko Taiwan and I was like, hey, let's do a collab. Let EMC do what we're good at which is making something even better. I gotta admit, you know, this car is not for the performance enthusiast. It's not gonna handle like a monster or a beast. It's not gonna be super, super fast. I didn't wanna mess with the electric motor, but it's going to look amazing. And it's gonna have that retro look, that classy cafe racer look. And it's going to exemplify what EMC is all about. I really can't wait to get into all the specific details, but I'm gonna make it official. EMC Super Soko electric bike collab is dropping right fucking now. If you guys are interested, contact us below or you can go to any of the Super Soko Taiwan dealers and each dealer's info is below. So if you guys want to get more information or if you just want to inquire about this bike, contact us or any of the dealers and we will let you guys know and we will do our best to answer all of your questions. And guys, enough talk. I don't want to say too much, but before I go for a ride, I just wanted to show you guys our new black electric motorcycle t-shirt. Like I said, we're going electric. The lightning bolts are right here behind the EMC shield. And we got a vintage style design on the back with two electric cafe racers. And we obviously have this in white. Now, we did not go with an oversized fit because we realized that bikers, they don't really wear oversized stuff. This is more of a normal fit t-shirt. I'm wearing an L. We will have an oversized electric motorcycle t-shirt coming out very soon in a couple days. So you guys will see that drop probably in the next two days. But before I go for a ride, hey, I wanna show you guys this. We're doing a special collab with Air Runner Helmets in Taiwan as well. This is all hand painted. We got the new EMC logo. This is the best time to drop it right now because EMC 2.0 is coming very, very soon. And what better way to show it off than this fucking project right now. And you know what guys, just stay tuned, stay electrified, look out for EMC 2.0 because we're coming your way. And guys, let's go for a ride before I go into all the modifications and all the details about this bike. Let's get on with the B-roll. I know you guys wanna see Poetry in Motion. Honestly, how sick did that look? I know I'm a handsome motherfucker, but you know what? 
These bikes look so damn good. That's what I'm saying. EMC does what we do best. We always do what we do best, which is we make something even fucking better. All right, so if you have other inquiries about how to make your car or whatnot look better, we can do that for you. All right, but let's get back into the details. Let's get back into the options of what we have. Right now, you see the aquamarine blue as well as the concrete Crayola gray. These are all custom painted colors uh, that Super Soco does not have. Now, you can only order these with the EMC collab. We will also have piano black, matte black, white, and a very special powdery pink. Why? Because masculine men, we like pink. Look at my pink GT3. So these will be the only colors that are available. And there's gonna be a couple bikes coming out very soon in future vlogs. And I will be doing some really cool lifestyle vlogs with other YouTubers. And you guys better be on the lookout for that. But let's get onto the details about the specifics. So I didn't touch the electric motor. I didn't make it more powerful, but I will look into that. However, that will mess with the warranty. I gotta tell you guys, you know, I didn't really wanna mess with that in the beginning because I'm not gonna go all out in this. I didn't change the suspension yet. However, I did change the tires because you know what? The tires just needed to be thicker, needed to be bigger, needed to have an off-road look. And the wires, they are mesh wired wheels. Obviously, these are an upgrade. I needed the flat bar handles, okay? The flat bar handles are a necessity because obviously it just looks better with the flow, okay? And yes, I did take the mud guards off. The front and the rear. I know that sounds stupid. I know that sounds crazy for a lot of you guys that ride in Taipei because it rains all the time. I get it, but you know what? I don't give a fuck because it looks cooler without the mud guards. All right, we put the mirrors a little bit lower right next to the handles because why? Because honestly, it just looks cooler. All right, we blacked out the odometer, we blacked out the brake handles, and we got some very special LED front headlights. The LED headlights that we chose are a little bit different than the stock LED headlights, but these just give it that extra retro look that I love. We also made custom seats. Uh, the seats that came stock are flat and can sit two people. If you want that, we can still do that. But I personally wanted something a little bit higher up here with more of a tail. Um, I wanted this kind of look because it just looks more like a cafe racer. I like it personally. If you guys don't, I'm cool with it. You can go with the flat seats. We have dark chocolate brown leather as well as black. We also have a black kickstand as well as black footrests that we put on to make the car extra sleek. There's obviously a couple more things I can do here and there, but that's about it right now. All right, but like I said before, I will look into upgrading the electric motor for more torque, more power. I will also look into the suspension and see what's out there, but I'm not gonna get too deep into it right now because to be honest, I just wanna look good, feel good when I'm riding because it just makes you feel alive. Guys, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the EMC and Super Soco collab project. I mean, I love it. Hope you guys love it too. So we're gonna end with a sick B-roll. Guys, I'll see you on the next one. We're going electric. Peace.